trying to sorry, because I was just trying to wish you a happy new year. I, I'm not trying to get in the uh, way of uh, you say that eh? Well, you guys are like, it's Marty and Cyrax on a piano. Yeah. I haven't been on a piano with you guys in so long. It's so great. Yeah, Cyrax, I don't I don't pay attention to you, man. Like I, I really don't uh, uh, sure you don't. It's just really beautiful to have our family together to start the new year, to just really take in the emotions that are attached to being friends for so long, being companions, being a supporter of one another. I mean, it's it's hard to go so long and not have a conversation with some of your best friends. And I'm glad that Marty and Cyrax have finally reunited. Now, Marty, obviously, I don't keep up with Marty a whole lot anymore. I'll be 100% honest. He was kind of my my jumping board into lolcal stardom i don't know he he was like one of the first conglomerates that i ever saw that covered cyrax and like any other hard drug that you get off the side of the street from some sketchy figure i became wholly addicted to the entire environment that surrounded these people and here i am today what a beautiful life i know Maybe I should be like the character in It's a Wonderful Life and actually jump off the bridge. Who knows? We'll think about that a little bit later. Either way, Cyrus is gonna gonna talk about some tomfoolery. He's gonna talk about his merch shop. Make sure you buy some merch from Cyrax. It's really good and it's really original and it's definitely his. And then we'll get to this conversation between the two, but Cyrax, he's, uh, he's starting to get a bit of an inflated ego, and we gotta, we gotta pump the brakes. You couldn't stop the Cyrax Nation. You can't stop my people. You can't stop Tim TV. You never will stop Tim TV. You sure as fuck ain't gonna stop me. This is my year to do what I need to do to start making bank. And if you don't like that, I don't give a fuck. This is the year... Of the Hooniverse Garage taking off, and the year of the Cyrax Nation taking off. I gotta ask, and I'll probably do it for the end of time, because it'll never move, but what's up with the Doritos bag, man? I noticed it a couple months ago, thinking it was funny, like, ah, he left a half-eaten bag of Doritos in the background. It literally hasn't moved. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> since that point and you know it's it's a bit hypocritical coming from me i'm not the cleanliness cleanliness person you know I, I i don't keep my apartment perfectly pure and crystal clean but i don't try and leave empty bags of food or plates of food or drinks just sitting around i'll, I'll move those those are the things i'm like hey you can get away with some dust, you know, you can get away with some things like that, but yeah, you know, we should probably get rid of the food. And in conjunction, you basically got <sighs> Cyrax's YouTube dream just come into fruition. And it's kind of funny because when he's talking about, oh, this thing's going to take off and this thing's going to take off and my YouTube career is going to take off. Kind of reminded me when I came back into doing YouTube, I wasn't, I didn't have any aspirations necessarily, but I was kind of excited just to be making stuff. It was giving me a creative outlet that I didn't have. And it's made me very appreciative and very appreciative for all of you beautiful people who watch me. And luckily I have you guys on my side and Cyrex has the Cyrex Nation and some garage duo and Tibbs on his side. It's uh, it's it's not a good look. You know, we covered Tibbs in our previous Cyrex video. He's uh, he's he's a weird dude. He's a uh, you know, some people think he's playing like 4D chess with, with not chess, 4D chess with Cyrex, and he's like manipulating him somehow to to get a big payoff at some point. But I just I don't know. He was on some panel with Harlot and Kate and a couple other people and was trying to defend Cyrix's tomfoolery and it just didn't go over well for him. It's a, it's sort of like those moments where, you know, everybody had that kid in school who claims he was so smart with whatever. Like, oh yeah, I know so much about the Paris suburbs. 
And then some guy from France shows up and he starts talking about it and the guy just shits his pants and has no idea what's going on. That's kind of the situation you have with Tibbs. He's a fake intellectual and he's trying to ride the coattails of Cyrax for some reason. I don't know why you would get involved unless it's to try and dunk on the five foot three goblin. You know, no spud web in here. This is a uh, Michael Jordan from the free throw line going on. So I don't know. Pick your battles. You're never going to stop me. You're never going to beat me. This war that y'all said that I wasn't going to win. Guess what, bitch? I already won. I won by getting away from the troll community. Okay? And it's funny how y'all think that I haven't escaped, but in reality, I actually have. Y'all are infected by a virus known as the troll virus. A troll virus entails... If it's uh, working way too many hours looking at and recording and commentating on a bunch of Neanderthalish regarded locales on the internet, then yeah, I have the troll virus. I, uh, I will wear that badge with pride. You can walk me into the gates. You can throw me in the train car. You know, it's, uh, it's a disease that we all have to try and, and mitigate. And we all have to try and work through. But... He's, he's still the same old Cyrax deep down. You know, we can't tear him down. We just can't break him. You know, you try as hard as you can. It's like that scene from that one World War II movie where the soldier, I think it's called Unbreakable or something like that. He's lifting up the timber to show the Japanese that he won't give up and we won't give up. And then he dies. Uh, that, that's kind of the scenario I think we're heading down with Cyrax at this point. Cause see, while you dumbasses are sleeping in your tamperpedic beds at night, I'm over here working my ass off on merch designs, songs, what I'm going to do for my next gameplay video, what I'm going to do for my next stream, all that shit. You have me living in fear, you attack my family, you attack my friends. You throw a brick through my family's fucking car windshield, which we had to pay almost a thousand dollars to replace, which wasn't cheap by any means. I think that's the implication of a thousand dollars Cyrex. I don't think, you know, I, I'm always curious about that. When, when does the threshold start to separate? Because when you're like five years old, you think twenty dollars is like infinite money. At least when I was five years old, I feel like five five-year-old today is probably fifty dollars because twenty dollars what the hell is i even buy you but you get the point as you like get older and older you start to think money differently you know when i was 16 a hundred bucks was a lot of money and now that i'm older you know five hundred a thousand dollars might be a lot of money i don't know i mean it, it, you get the point but at what age slash what sh what uh money bracket do you reach that a thousand dollars is not considered a lot of money all right you know i i know cyrax likes to claim that he's missing out on tens of millions of dollars because saturated content keeps uploading videos about him and let me tell you buddy i wish that was the case i really do if it was i would pull up to your front door in a lamborghini and just start flexing just start flexing i'd be playing some cyrax tunes on my bass system inside my car Ooh. Ooh, it'd be going hard, but unfortunately that's not the world we live in. So it's implied that a thousand dollars is a lot. Yes, we understand that Cyrex. Don't worry. We're not we're not too stupid for you. All right We're not too stupid and It's cute that he thinks that he's on this grind. He's always on this grind He's just listing things that like it would be something I would consider an accomplishment when I was like 15 years old. Like, yeah, you know, I beat the new Call of Duty campaign and I, uh, I made myself a grilled cheese sandwich with some chicken noodle soup. And, uh, you know, I, I washed my shin guards from soccer practice. You know, it's been, it, I'm on that grind. When everybody else is asleep, I'm on that grind. And it, it, in fairness, you know, you have to incorporate a life lesson moment somewhere in a Cyrex video. And this one I think is a pretty good one. I'm sure a lot of people have heard it, but it's the, you're lapping everybody who's asleep. And it's a good motivator for people that wanna start exercising, where it's like, 
no matter how little you do, you're doing more than the person that's not doing anything at all. And that can be either introspective about yourself or it can be about any other person. So it is motivating and it's the same with sports or whatever. You know, that's what they always say. The grind never stops. First one in, last one out type of thing. So th there's your tidbit of, of Cyrax knowledge and wisdom. I'm sorry. But I don't bow down to unethical, uneducated, dumbasses that do nothing but sit on their asses and eat Cheetos all day and watch videos of some random dude that they don't know just so they can fuck with that person. If you don't like me being successful, I don't care. I ain't worried about you. I'm worried about my people. You know, I'm more of a Cheez-Its guy, Cyrax, all right? Cheetos, they're too messy, especially when you're trying to work with a mouse and a keyboard and a microphone. I mean, you just, you can't muddle up your, your, your gaming sphere, you know, not even my recording sphere. This is for my Apex Legends uh, team that we're assembling. But uh, I'd also go out on a limb, Cyrax, and say that probably like 99% of people that watch you are higher educated than you <laughs> just in terms of the piece of paper that they got because i'm still not convinced that you've ever gotten your ged and we know you didn't graduate from high school so i would assume the majority of people that do watch you at least have that and i would assume probably at least half of those people are at least in college did some amount of college or graduated from college so I don't know. It's it's cute. I understand you think that people are obsessed with you, and to some extent, that's true for any little cow. You know, I'm not going to large paintbrush stroke away the idea that there aren't people that are obsessed with you, that are looking out for your every single movement that goes on every single day. That's 100% true. But in turn, it's like looking in a mirror. I, you're obsessed with the trolls. That's your entire life. You have nothing else going for you. You have no desire to do anything else more productive. I mean, your entire life takes place inside of your bedroom, which is like kind of bizarre. It's like sometimes you imagine that is like a dream scenario. You're like, oh yeah, you know, I really wish I could stay at home and not have to drive into the office every day and do all that shit. But in reality, it's like if you spend enough time inside of a room working on stuff, I mean, I've done it before. I've worked on multiple videos when I was doing the the very first episode of Cyrax Anthologies, I mean, there were there were a couple days in a row that I was spending like 10 hours a day just sitting here, editing stuff, watching clips, writing a script. I mean, it was a whole thing. And so it's, it's not always greener on the other side. You know, I think we should try and avoid being as much like Cyrax as possible. Go outside, you know, smell some flowers, go to the gym. That would already be doing more than five Cyrus's lifespans. That really was cute. But uh, just so you know, I got another shop already up and running, motherfuckers. I already got the merch up, and I'm going to be promoting it on my shit. You don't live on your own. So what, dude? Neither do you, motherfuckers. Half y'all motherfuckers don't even work. I have merchandise to promote. I have shit to get done. And if you don't like it, guess what? I don't fucking care. Game over. You lose. It feels, it feels real bad to have somebody like Cyrax say that I lost the game of life. You know? And it's just projection at this point. I understand. You know, it's not something that's flying over my head, everybody. Alright, I understand that him saying... That we just sit around and do nothing all day and we don't have any jobs and that we're really stupid and he's smarter than us. I understand that's all projection. At the same time, whew, I mean, it, it, it sort of harkens back to what I just said. I feel like if you didn't have a 9 to 5 and you weren't doing some other thing that was giving you joy or money or both, <laughs> you're just living like uh, just a really sad, decrepit lifestyle. Just, I was going to say it's pathetic, but it's just sad. I mean, not doing anything useful all day. I mean, your brain just turns into absolute soup. It just sounds miserable. And while I think the path that I'm taking, where I'm working 40 hour plus weeks, plus 
whatever else amount of time I use to make these videos every week is probably not great either, but at least I can say, hey, you know, I got my stable, boring ass job that keeps me consistently paid and gives me bullshit stuff that I need in everyday life like insurance. And on the other hand, I got a creative outlet where there's people I can interact with and we can talk about uh, topics I think are interesting. And it's cool and that works out. And I don't regret the 15 plus hours a week that I spend working on this stuff to pump out the content because it is all worth it in the end. And maybe someday, Cyrex, I can finally get that Lambo and we're gonna have millions and millions of subscribers in the Cyrex Nation, but it's gonna be renamed to the Saturated Content Nation, and you're gonna be our little joker that's gonna dance for us. And it's gonna be really cute, and it's gonna be really fun, and you're really gonna like it. Even even on YouTube anymore? I am, but believe it or not, I'm actually finally out of the bullshit after all these years. And it's funny, some of the channels that do content on me are ones that I watched back in the day, and now it's like, holy shit. I don't want to do this. You need to fucking get off our property and leave. Because, you know, like, obviously, like, half, he riled up half our neighbors, half our fucking neighborhood was down there, which, that was bad enough already. Now, because of him, half my fucking neighborhood gives me weird looks every time I walk down the street. Yeah, I'm sure it's, uh, I'm sure it's aware of myself who showed up for one day and never followed through with taking you to court and getting you charged. I'm sure... He was the sole reason why you were just crucified by your neighbors every day. It surely wouldn't be the fact that cops show up to your house like at least once a week, multiple times on the week, more than likely. And they know now this just broadens it to wow, there's some weird looking five foot midget goblin man inside the attic that screams all day and plays horrible music and uh, also is a, a child enthusiast. So, you know, you can start to piecemeal this together and try and understand, ooh, ooh, maybe, maybe he's not that good of a person. What? Cyrax? Not that good of a person? There's no way. There's no way, guys. I can't believe that. You know, and it would be a shame, it'd be a shame if somebody like me, you know, some some lowly peasant like me, had a, I don't know, glanced once or twice before at uh, some Airbnbs right next to Summit Lake over there. It'd be weird if somebody like that was doing that, you know. Maybe thinking about uh, doing a little goof and a gag up there, I don't know. I don't know, I'm not teasing anything, but let's just say hypothetically. <laughs> Something where the shake out, I don't know, this year, next year, who knows. We'll figure it out, dude. No big deal. You're scared of Tibbs and you fucking know you. Okay, well, I would have. Hey, that, that's why you yeah. got to have a maid clean your house for you. Going into this new year, I am coming for you and every, and every oh, other so fucking troll. Man, shoot. shut the fuck up, dude. Yeah. Hold up, hold up. Marty, I'm going to tell you this right oh, now, you douchebag. I'm going to tell you this right now, Marty. Starting tomorrow, I am coming for you. And every single fucking troll that has ever fucking done me wrong. And that includes you, fat ass. They ain't on this level, dude. They ain't on this level. It feels really good to have Cyrex bring back the goblin chain. Oh, we clowned on him so hard for having that fake plastic piece of shit hanging around his neck thinking he was some big time rapper. And now he's back trying to pwn the trolls and pwn Marty and really just show that he's the alpha male in this situation. I don't know where he's getting this idea of Marty hiring maids to clean, <laughs> to clean his house. I don't know. I guess Cyrix thinks that anybody that makes more than like 45 cents a day on average is just affording luxury lifestyle goods. And, you know, it makes sense. I don't even, you know, I'm sure Sally and Ed are probably getting some sort of government subsidy money because of Chance's, uh, woo, you know, boo, 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 boo type of uh, behavior. And uh, he probably is completely unaware of that. It's just going straight into WWE and uh, P Perk 30s for, for, <laughs> for Ed, you know. Either way, either way, Cyrex, he's not, he, he hasn't always been the most clever person. I wouldn't say that. But uh, he has the support of his family. He has the support of his friends. Watch out, trolls. He's not on his own anymore. He's got people lying up around him. You know, he had the government and the Hells Angels. <laughs>
in the military, in the FBI, they were all on his side. They were bailing him out of jail, of course. And now he's got somebody just right up his sleeve who's going to save the day. It's sad when somebody has to have their grandma monitor their internet behavior. Because I think she came in and yelled at him. Oh, he left because he got struck down because of all the y'all are doing. So Sally shows up <laughs> and basically starts yelling at Chance. And it, 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 this, this is like the good old days to me. You know, when I first started watching Cyrax, it was basically a year ago. Basically the end of January, I think of last year is when I started watching Cyrax. And it was just a beautiful time. He was on Marty's live streams all the time. He was acting a fool. They got in a fight. I mean, there was a whole shebang going on in the early part of 2023. And, of course, Sally would make her appearance. I'm sure Cyrax went and pushed her down the stairs again. That's probably that's probably why he came back so quick. He's like, ah, I got, like, I don't know, 20 more minutes until the paramedics show up. So I got some more time to talk. And he spends that time talking saying, oh, I've, I've owned the trolls. You know, I got N-Word Boy to just stop posting stuff. And, you know, I don't know the ins and outs of everybody. I'm pretty sure his situation is that Cyrax is copyright striking his stuff. And he can't upload or whatever. So, I don't know. But Cyrax claims that he's going to vanquish all the trolls by the end of the year. No more trolls. I'm going to be gone. Say bye-bye to my channel, guys. No more Only Use Me Blade content. No more Cyrax content. No more Wildman Chris content. All right? And, and you can thank Cyrax for that. You can thank Cyrax and Tibbs. They're going to you know fornicate with each other and their weird offspring baby that's gonna be <laughs> i don't know where i was going with this joke i'll be 100 percent honest i i thought i thought my words would lead me somewhere but it really didn't and i don't even want to finish that that thought so i'm just gonna end it either way hope you guys enjoyed this video until next time i'll talk to you guys later peace